we <laughs> put trouble in the world. No. <laughs> We're an early retired couple that sold everything we own to travel the world for the next 10 years, tracking our budget every step of the way. We're going to be boarding our flight in less than two weeks, and I tell you what, things are starting to feel very real. Basically, if there's something we haven't organised, it's too late to organise it. And we did think, Sarah and I had this thought that what we'll do is we'll share with you exactly where we're going as we hop on the flight. But today, I'm thinking, I want to tell you where we're going. But I'm on my own today and I don't own all of the cards on this one. So let's, you and I, later on in this video, check in with Sarah and see if she'll let us do it. She simply has no idea that that's my plan today. So I am overexcited about this week's episode because I'm going to be talking about my top five tech that I'm going to use to travel the world. I do apologise for wearing this, but it's a legal requirement on trains in the UK at the moment, but hopefully you can hear me just fine. I'm going to be talking about things that I use and Sarah use and that we've been using, most of these we've been using for a long time. There's going to be a couple of uh, items here which we're only really going to be able to test once we're on the road, but I really want you to know what I'm telling you is about things that are critical to us. It's not things that we're saying, ah, oh, be good to put this in and never use it again. I know that the five things we're going to go through today, we're going to use all of them. And not only that, I'm going to give you a bonus sixth item, and that's going to be a bit of tech, which is basically two bits of plastic that are held together by another bit of plastic and is probably one of the most amazing things I've ever seen and it cost a couple of quid from Amazon so stick around to the end where I'll show that. This tech we're going through I've managed to get a couple of bonuses for people so there's uh, discounts on a couple of these we don't get kickbacks from everything there's a couple of things I think we're getting a kickback on but really the only reason I'm telling you this stuff is because I think you're going to find it really useful. To ensure that what I'm giving you today is balanced, what I've done is neatly put it into a donut of items that I think are going to be critical. So on this donut, we've got things that relate to security, another one that relates to finance, a third one which is going to potentially save our life, another one which is old school but bringing it into the 21st century and the fifth one is communication. And with all five of those together, that gives us 100% happiness, and they are trusted products by Tugo Rope. As I commented earlier when I was on the platform back there, today Sarah and I are not together. She's up with her mum, I'm down here with my parents. And what I'm doing today is I'm getting my final rabies vaccine and the place I'm doing it is in Reading and I chose Reading because well I chose Reading because it's the closest place to where I'm living at the moment that will actually give us a uh, vaccine for rabies Sarah's done hers in Birmingham I have just had my final rabies jab so I am done with my travel vaccinations just gonna have my COVID vaccination now which is coming up next week and I'll be ready to go but Reading is an interesting place because Reading is where I grew up. And you know what? I've not been there for over 25 years. So while Sarah is up in Birmingham treating her body like a temple, she's telling me she's working out every day, I'm going to Reading to get a vaccine against rabies. And then I'm going to follow up that vaccine with vaccines made of beer. And I should be drinking copious amounts with it, of it. Talking to friends I have not seen any of these in over 25 years. What do you, it's crazy. As I go round Reading today, I'll show you a bit of it and some of my old haunts. I want to see if they're still there. So I used to find the Hexagon Theatre, such an imposing building. And I used to go there to see shows, things like Comic Strip Presents back in the day, I saw them there. Ben Elton, I saw him there. Also, I used to go to the snooker there. I love that place. So we'll see if the Hexagon's still there. The Butt Centre was the main shopping area of Reading at the time. 
is the butt centre still there? We'll have a look. And I used to go drinking in a place called the Purple Turtle. So the first item I'm going to explain to you is something we haven't used yet, but we've read amazing things about, and this falls into the category of life-saving. And this is called the Crazy Cap 2 UV Water Purifier and Self-Cleaning Stainless Steel Insulated Water Bottle. So life-saving because we are going to be going to parts of the world where drinking water uh, can't be found in taps and you may be using fountains at the side of the road. So the beauty of this thing is it effectively eliminates 99.9996% of mould, bacteria and viruses from water with nothing other than ultraviolet light. Wow. So this is tech. This is tech. This is ultraviolet light I'm talking about. And it uses UVC sterilization, which is the sterilization of the future. It's sterilization that's used in operating theaters and in treatment plants all around the world. It reduces the need for plastic because we're not going to be buying plastic bottles because we're going to have our bottle that we use this crazy cap on. And it is also a double walled bottle that keeps cold water cold for up to 24 hours and it keeps hot water hot for up to 12 hours. Now that's magic, isn't it? What if it gets it wrong? What if it gets a cup of hot coffee in there and thinks, oh, I'll do this one cold, or keeps it cold, or you put an ice drink in there and says, I'm gonna heat this one up. Absolute magic. And it's all based on a cap, which is actually multi-purpose, because what that cap can do is you can, it's got a button on the top and you can tap it and it will basically sterilize a tray table. So this table on, on, that's in front of me here on the train or, or on an airplane, or even in restaurants, you can sterilize where you are. And so it's multitasking in that way. And it's also rechargeable via USB. So this gives us drinkable water wherever we are, as long as we've got our Crazy Cat bottle with us. Oh, the other thing it does is it eliminates mold and mildew from the bottle itself because when it's on the bottle whether you're using it or not every four hours it will do a quick uv um, sterilization of that bottle so it's fantastic and this is the main shopping street in reading called broad street when i lived here this was a hang on a minute does everyone get my chap? This, this was uh, where all the buses used to come down, but now it's all pedestrianised. Let me see if I'm supposed to be in here. I thought I was going to go over there. Let's see. That was a funny experience. I walked in to Superdrug because I felt sure that when I saw on the map that it is that the Superdrug I was going to is where the butt centre is or was. So I went in and asked and said, am I having my rabies vaccination here? or am I having it in the butt center? And she said, the butt center? I said, is there a center around here called the butt center? She, I've never heard of that, she was quite young. So I've still got a few minutes before my appointment. It turns out my appointment is in this specific super drug here, which is good, but I take it it's not called the butt center anymore. The world moves on and I have no clue about it. So I want to go and see what it is now and whether it's changed. There you have it. It's now called the Broad Street Mail. And if I got this right, the Hexagon Theatre, where I used to go to all those comedy shows, saw Bob Geldorf there as well. That wasn't a comedy show, swore a lot. And uh, used to go to the snooker at the Hexagon in Reading. As I recollect, it was through here. And let's see if I'm right. I know you'd be thinking, of course you know where it is. Honestly, you live somewhere for as long as I did and then move away from there for 25 years, longer than 25 years, and you'll find that you forgot where everything is as well. So let's see, oh yeah, there it is. And this is it, the Hexagon Reading. And I've only just realized, I've always known it as 
the hexagon Reading, even though I lived in Reading. And I think that's because I used to see it on TV when the snooker was on and they would say, and now we have the Rothmans Grand Prix from the hexagon Reading. Answers on a postcard if you can work out where it got its name from. Right, so the next one is part of Sarah's educational challenge. And for Sarah last month, it was all around the budgeting and how we're gonna budget for our monthly travel. She wanted to find a tool that she could use easily when we're out and about each day. We looked at many, many, we had others recommended to us, but we found this one just on the off chance. We tried it out and do you know what? It actually turned out to be absolutely fantastic. It's called Travel Spend, and the things that we particularly like about it that worked for us best is the fact that you can have multiple budgets in there, so we can have a budget, an overarching budget for the whole year, but then we can have a separate budget for each location that we go to. I'm just giving you a quick demo through the app, and you'll see I keep hitting the wrong button. That's not the app, that's me. The other benefits is that it's multi currency, and it's difficult for me to demo this to you while I'm in the UK. But what you'll find is wherever you are in the world, it's using your location data to define what the currency is. So you enter, enter things in your local currency, on here it's showing us GBP and it will automatically convert it back to your home currency so you can see how you're doing in the budget in country and how you're doing against your budget in your home currency the categories on here are totally editable so we told you on a video a few weeks back and i'll link to it here i think no i think i'll link to it here where we spoke about what each of those categories were going to be there's a lot of good stuff you can do with this on statistics also so we can export these statistics to a spreadsheet and use it that way so that works for us as well really great app i don't think it's particularly well known but we're finding it fantastic so far even better than that we reached out to the people that wrote the app and although they said they haven't got much in the way of a marketing budget, they really kindly offered 50% off the premium version every year. So you, you pay annually for it if you go for premium. They're giving you 50% off annually. I don't get anything out of that 50%. I managed to get that for you. And if you want to take advantage of that, have a look in the link in the description below try it for free for a little while we'll see how it works out if so i would go for it good news it still exists the purple turtle i used to come here a lot when i was younger and uh it appears they've changed their policy since i was here last but this is it the purple turtle when i say they've changed their policy well they've now got a sign out that says no riffraff i wouldn't have got in if they had that Right, this next item is going to be really difficult for me to talk about without getting too overexcited because I searched long and hard for this and this falls into the category of communication. <clears throat> this is something called device and that's device spelled D-E-V-Y-C-E -E. and this is going to be predominantly for our UK viewers but Anyone else around the world, don't switch off because everything else I'm gonna talk about in this video has a global appeal. But device just has to be talked about for our UK viewers. So the best way of explaining device is to tell you what my problem is that it solves. So the problem is me and Sarah want to travel the world and take our UK telephone numbers with us. Doesn't sound too tough, does it? You'll find that your mobile number or cell number is now becoming more and more important. When you sign up for just about any institutional website, it will ask you for your mobile number. And often on UK sites, it doesn't give an option for a foreign number. Also, you may sometimes be asked to use that number as part of security, such as what's the last three digits of your mobile number? Certainly if you're ringing on the phone to get some support for something. Financial institutions, now for me, this is a biggie two-factor authentication so you're somewhere in the world Indonesia or where, wherever in the world and you want to do some banking and we have to do our banking we can't walk into our local branch you're asked to do two-factor authentication ie to confirm who you are we're going to send you an SMS with four numbers key those in below to do that you must have a UK phone number 
they won't send it to a foreign phone number. My mobile number and Sarah's mobile number, we've had those numbers for years and all of our family and friends know those numbers. And you may be thinking, well, you communicate on WhatsApp or Facebook. Well, my elderly parents don't use any of that. They want to ring me on a number and know that they can get hold of me. You might be screaming two things here. One of them is, you don't need it. I've got three. I'm on the three network or some other network. And I can take that overseas. Yes, you can for a couple of months. Beyond that, they'll cut you off if you're not coming back to the UK. So imagine that situation. You're away. I'm going to use Indonesia as my uh, example here. You're in Indonesia and they've cut you off. You need to do banking. You've not got a UK phone number. You haven't got a UK SIM. What are you going to do? And the other thing is, well, why don't you, as you're moving around, get a local SIM and just let all your banks and other institutions know what your new number is? Too much administration. So the solution to all this is device. I searched high and low for something that could do this and there was I, I literally couldn't find anything. Even Skype in the UK won't allow you to use SMS, it doesn't have that option. And various other uh, organisations that said get a UK phone number, when you get to the SMS side they can't do it. But device is a proper UK phone network and it's based on voice over IP voice over internet protocol for you cool cats out there that don't want to get involved in all this tech stuff. All I need to do with device is either when I'm overseas ensure that I'm on a Wi-Fi network or in a foreign country just get a cheap pay-as-you-go SIM card, put that in my phone and device which is all app based, there's, there's no SIM card for device itself, device will use that to communicate to the UK and here are some of the benefits you get with device. One, free phone calls to UK landline numbers. Two, free phone calls to UK mobile numbers. Three, unlimited SMS. All of that is totally unlimited. Now device have got two services for nomadic people. They're called Solo and Solo Plus. Each of them have got fees associated to them and I'll, and I'll put those on the screen now. But once you've paid those fees, there is nothing else to pay. Free calls, free SMS to mobiles and landlines. That's just, that's incredible, isn't it? And I said at the start of this, I don't want to sound like I'm pushing this too hard, but I couldn't find anything. And device haven't said to me, advertise this for me, will you, Neil? No, what happened was I searched long and hard, I found device, I reached out to them and done something pretty cool. I've managed to get for you a discount. So if you use the discount code of 2 you'll get a pound off every month that you use it. So if you're using the solo option at 5 dollars which is, which is the, the price as I record this, you're getting a 17% discount every month that you use it. Important thing is, to sign up to device and make use of this code, you must do it online on a PC. Don't do it on the app because you won't, you won't see the option to apply a coupon. Do it on the PC, you click on the pricing there, choose your option, key in to go roam, and you have locked in a discount that we've got for you. What about that? So this next item I've been using for just over a year. It's called a rocket book, and this is old school into new world. I like to take a lot of notes and I tend to collect my notebooks. So what Rocketbook is, is an everlasting notebook. You'll see I'm just marking on the screen there various categories. I'll come on to what those are shortly. But this is a reusable notebook. Works with a QR code that you can see in the bottom left hand corner. And you can make a note on here. I'm just making a daft note, just something that I can use as a demonstration. You make the notes and you'll also see at the bottom of the page, you probably don't actually see on this video, but those icons you saw for the different categories are listed there on the bottom as well. So what I can do is I can mark one of those and I define what that means. And in this instance, I've marked the diamond which relates to travel. I then go to the app that comes with Rocketbook on my phone and you'll see that I scan the page. And this is far from ideal conditions. I've got a camera in the way, I'm outside in the sun, but you'll see it scans that and by 
using the location I chose, it will automatically A, put the name of this on there, and B, it actually uploads it to the specific location. And for me, it's in a folder called travel in my Google Drive. An absolutely fantastic piece of kit. I've put a link below for where you can get it from Amazon if it's the kind of thing you're interested in. But then the amazing thing here is, as you can see, you can rub it all out and start again. You get that little cloth with the book, you rub it out, and it's ready to make new notes. Wonderful piece of kit. Really love it. Those pens there, I think they're called FlexNet pens, something like that. You can get them in all stationers, and it just works with it. Fantastic. So the last one on the list is a VPN and I'm not going to labour this point because I've seen on so many YouTube videos people talk about their VPN so you probably know about it. But a VPN stands for Virtual Private Network and for Sarah and I that's going to give us two benefits predominantly. So the first one is around security so if you're in any open location such as this, a bar or a pub, if you put your phone or your laptop into the VPN then that effectively hides your IP address from the local network and the Wi-Fi that you're connecting to meaning you can do safe and secure transactions without being concerned about who could be tapping into your Wi-Fi connection also. The other benefit for us is around entertainment because with the app that we use which is NordVPN You've got a little map on there, which I'll put on screen now, and you can select a country that you want to appear to be in, choose that, and you are on a VPN of that country. So for us, that means that when we're overseas and we want to watch something on the BBC, or ITV, or Channel 4, not Channel 5, but if we want to watch any, any of those, connect our VPN to the UK, even though we could well be in Indonesia, and it works. So if this is something you're interested in, if you look in our comments below, you'll see that we've got a discount code down there that will give you over 50% off NordVPN. We love NordVPN. It's got, I think it's got more servers than any other VPN service. And Sarah and I have been using it for two years without, uh, without a gap. We love it and we would simply not be traveling without it. If ever you're going overseas without a VPN, be extremely careful. That bonus item I spoke about at the start, now's the moment, and this is it. So for a bit of fun, if you don't know what this is, what I want you to do is pause the video in a second and write in the comments below what you think this is, because I would have been a little bit confused. Now unpause it again. You won't hear me say that unless you've unpaused it. That's a bit complicated. I'm shooting this video a couple of days after the rest of this video. And the reason for that is quite simply the fact that um, I'd had a few too many to drink. And I do apologise, but I hadn't seen those guys for 25 years. It was a bit of a going away party. The beer was flowing at a wonderful time. And you're going to see in a clip in a moment that I probably had a little bit too much of a good time. But before we get to that, this thing, what the hell is it? Well, I've got this from the perspective of just a little bit of additional security. That will go in my suitcase or bag. It doesn't weigh a thing, but this will lock a door. So if we take this door, for example, there's no lock on it. So if I try and shut the door, actually, so this is a perfect door, because this door, this door, oh, I got it to do it eventually. This door only, if you work hard enough, will shut. So think about if you're in a shared accommodation and you just want a bit of added security and privacy, that's where this thing comes in. So what I do with it is that goes into the door jam, that goes in there, this item goes through here, I push that round, this door is now, that door is absolutely locked. So it's as simple as that and I just press a button, get it out, door is open. How amazing. So now we're going to go back a couple of days to see whether Sarah was happy for us to share where we're going to be traveling to. Again, I've had a little bit too much drink and for that I do apologise. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah. I'm shouting. Where are you? I'm in a restaurant called Buff in New Street Station. 
Right, in the station? Yeah. Well, it looks like you're in a bar. Well, I am in a bar. <laughs> I oh. thought you wouldn't have been alive. Cheers, man. <laughs> What's going on? I'm having a lovely time with my friends. <laughs> I, said, I said to our viewers that you're living your life like an angel while I'm in Reading meeting my mates for a beer. And you're not, are you? No, I'm having a lovely time. I'm having a lovely drink and a lovely meal. <laughs> right. Well, what I wanted to ask you is, can I tell our viewers where we're planning to fly to? We are planning to fly to Mexico. <laughs> well, you gave that away easily. Yes, we are indeed. We're going to go to Mexico. I, I thought you were going to say to me, no, don't tell people yet. OK, I wouldn't be at all surprised if you didn't catch any of that because Sarah and I appear to be celebrating the future of our lives. I've been here in Reading, in Berkshire, seeing amazing friends I've not seen for years. Sarah is in Birmingham talking to her wonderful friend Yvonne and basically what I wanted to do and I don't know if this has come across on video but what I wanted to do is to tell you in under two weeks Sarah and I are flying out of this wonderful nation of the UK to Mexico we are flying to Cancun we're going to have a few days in Cancun as a bit of a holiday that's not going to be part of our uh, cost of living so don't expect that to be a cost of living video that will not happen but once we've left, left Cancun we are flying to and from there on that is where our life of nomad living actually starts to happen and it's from then we'll be tracking every step of our way on our cost of living. I really hope you've enjoyed this video, I really do. It's been a lot of fun putting together here in Reading. And if you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up and by all means, put a positive comment in the box below and we will see you next time. You've been watching To Go Road.